Hello, I'm at 508 Dill Point. It's Thursday, July 28th, 2022, and I'm going to be heading on downstairs into the basement um, for part three of the move-in walkthrough. So it is an unfinished basement, so as we come downstairs, we have unfinished walls and um, unfinished floors, as you can see. So the walls and floor throughout the basement here are just going to be showing some pretty general wear and tear. Again, it's all unfinished, so we're going to see lots of marks and scratches on the drywall as we come down here. Lots of marks and scratches on the stairs. And as we come into the basement, as you can see, it is uh, insulation walls down here. So there are just, uh, you know, some kind of general wear and tear marks present. There's kind of some patches present. You can see there's kind of like a large patch right there. And over here we have just a couple drywall patches. That's going to be pretty standard for a lot of the walls here at the property. But again, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, no problems there. All looking fine. And we're actually going to go ahead and start over here in this little area. So uh, right here on the wall, uh, you can see we have a couple bookshelves provided. Um, right here is going to be the gas shutoff. So if you need to turn the gas off, uh, this is going to be the main gas shutoff right here. Um, also, please note down that there are a lot of rough end pipes down here. Uh, please do not damage these. Be careful what you're pushing up against it and just keep in mind that they are there. Right over here we have some, uh, some, um, uh, excuse me, some shelves provided. Again, just general wear on the unfinished walls here. And floor, same thing. There's going to be just some general marks present. Uh, nothing major, um, no damage. But there will be some kind of paint marks. And there's definitely going to be some debris present down here. So right over here, very important. This is going to be the main water shutoff right here. That's going to be the main water shutoff. That's going to be the front hose bib shutoff. And as you can see, it's currently turned off. Feel free to turn it back on, but you do need to turn it back off again before we get freezing temperatures. Right here we have uh, breaker boxes in the corners, and cable box and telephone box right there. Windows here have screens but no blinds. The back door has um, no screens or treatments of any kind. And all these walls look good. Little alcove area over here. Walls also look very good. Over here we got a lot more shelves provided as you can see. Lots of shelves with some house paint, lots of house items present over here. Right over here in the corner we're going to have the sump pump pit. Please do not store anything on top of the sump pump pit. We got a couple cabinets right here, all looking good, ready to be used. That's eh, showing a little bit of wear, but again, nothing out of the ordinary. Floor in here, again, definitely has some wear marks on it and there's some debris present, but uh, all looking fine there. So right here is going to be the rear hose bib shutoff, right here. Again, currently turned off. Feel free to turn it back on again, but it does need to be turned back off before we get freezing temperatures. Walls over here look good, and uh, right over here is going to be the HVAC system. So it is working and operational. All looks fine there. The um, uh, the air filter for the downstairs one is right here behind this panel. Just pull up on this metal panel, slides right up. I took a picture of it on my move-in report, and you'll need to replace it about every three months. Hot water heater right here. Again, please don't lean anything up against the hot water heater or the HVAC system. Just give them both a little bit of room, and should be all good there. All right, that'll conclude the uh, move-in walkthrough for 508 Dill Point. Thank you very much.